Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 daily notification video. In this video, we'll cover the Atomic Shop, the mystery item number two, and the daily challenges and see what's up. So let's not waste any time and dive right into it. Alright, so let's navigate to the Atomic Shop. Uh, my kid is behind me, so you might hear some noises. And uh, as you can see, we have the free badge again. Then if we navigate to this section right here, we have the mystery item number two. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it right now. I think I know what it is, uh, thanks to Rifle Gaming. <laughs> so you might want to check out his video. Basically, in, about, in regards to the mystery items, there is, uh, I think, five of them or six. I haven't dived into that research yet. But there is an X amount of mystery items you can collect, and if you collect them all, you will get uh, a unique uh, item afterwards. So this is basically like sort of what we had for Easter, where you collect all the Easter eggs and you get the bunny helmet, and only in case if you collected all of the Easter eggs. So that's that. Now we also got two more uh, new sets for camp building items. That is vending machines. <laughs> That is vending machines over here for 150. I'm actually gonna grab it because my ones are looking bad. And uh, shop billboard set was, which is actually also pretty cool. And for this amount of items, I'm gonna get it. I own these two items on my PC, and now I want to own it on the Xbox. So I definitely want to grab these two, and I'll definitely use them. Plus 70% discount is a really good deal. Now. Let's take a look at the daily challenges for the dailies. We gotta do build floors, walls, roofs, whatever at the camp or workshop. What I usually do, I just take over any uh, workshop and just spam my uh, pre-built camp over there. Uh, kill rat scorpions in Savage Divine. Okay, this one is gonna be a little problematic. I'll, if, oh man, I don't have the, oh no, ah damn it. I'll show you one good place, but you'll need to server hop a lot. I don't have it unlocked here, but I'll show you the exact mark. If you go open that location, you'll get it done. I won't do it today. Kill legendary enemy. Well, that is super simple. Uh, you you play the adventure mode a lot, so you definitely encounter a legendary enemy, enemy with no problem. Or just visit one of the events. Basically, it's not a problem if you're planning to play a lot today. Uh, level up while and if you complete any of these sub challenges at the same time you will get additional 10 items on top so that is level up while Volt 94, uh, while engaged in PvP, while naked, while in a group, while yielding a protest sign, while uh, at the Deathclaw Death Island, at the water park level 30, under level 30, uh, wearing a fast dash mask, responder gear, Arctos Pharma or Flatwoods under level 20 or level 76 or higher. So any of these three at the same time and you will give you some additional 10 items on top. For Nuclear Winter, super easy. Use three stim packs and you get yourself a perk card. If you're just starting out to play Nuclear Winter, I would highly recommend to uh, at least do this event to get your per perk card. And if you can't play the name. Basically, if you're looking to grind at Nuclear Winter and you're just starting out, you need those perk cards. Without those perk cards, you can't have a good build. Not having a good build, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> uh, afterwards, scrap jank, uh, junk to produce screws. Uh, typing machines, desk fans, they're pretty much all over the damn place. Oop, did I just say that? <laughs> I guess I'm in the killer mood. That that uh, Call of Duty Warzone is insane. It's making me my blood boil. So basically, what I do, I usually go to White Springs Resort. There are a lot of vendors and I just buy the junk that has the screws and done. Now in order to kill the scorpions, there's this location right here. Uh, the, not always do they appear. You have a chance of three scorpions appearing in that location. So, uh, uh, yogurt bears appear there. The honey beast, uh, beast appear there. So, if you you're gonna have to do a lot of server hops, server, server, server hop, and you're gonna get it done. But yeah. So I really don't remember how it's called, but I know that that's the location. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else did I miss? Pretty much nothing. I'm gonna do only one challenge for today. Now, uh, what we got to build, if I'm not mistaken, that thing should be in the floor decor. And if we go down, 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 down. Yeah. Oh, no, momento. Don't tell me it's not in floor decor. I thought it is. Oh, wait. Missed. Boom. That's what you get. Look a shine. <laughs> Can you 
put one in more on top? Oh. <laughs> Looking good. So, anyway, Zeke and everybody else, you know the drill. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity once you're commenting, because YouTube triggers those comments. Nobody sees them. I see them. I read them, but I delete them. Have that in mind. So, no F bombs in comments. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios. I'll see you at the Call of Duty War Zone. Mm. <laughs>